All right, here we go. Question number 21 from our 1316 homework number seven in my lab math. They want us to plot the complex number in the complex plane and then write it in polar form. So I'm going to read ahead just to make sure that I know my destination. When I'm converting this into polar form, it says to type an exact answer for R. That means R cannot be a decimal. It's going to have to be uh, probably a whole number, a fraction, or a simplest radical form. And then if I read on, it says type an angle measure in radians rounded to three decimal places as needed. So the angle, if it doesn't come out to be a nice number, is going to have to be approximated. The radius has to be exact, and the angle can be approximated. So let's see where we're headed here. We've got a complex number. They have given me negative 3 plus 8i. And I know that's rectangular form. Rectangular form is A plus BI. Here I can see that A is negative 3, B is 8. And so if I want to plot that point, I would plot that as if it was the ordered pair, negative 3, 8, as in the XY coordinate system. However, this is the complex plane, so the x-axis is the real axis, and the y-axis is the imaginary axis. Here, A is the real part, and B, I is the imaginary part. Now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that it makes it a little bit easier to plot that point. That ought to be good. We're going to negative 3, 8. Negative 3, 8 would be about here, and if I click, it's going to put the point there. So if you watch the previous video, I actually clicked on this point and, and drug it around, but you can also just go to where the point should be and click on it, and it should put the dot in the right spot, okay? If it's not, you can move it around a bit if you need to, but that's at negative 3, 8. Now what I need to do is convert to polar form, and the polar form is R cosine theta plus I sine theta. That is the polar form of a complex number. And if I go choose the appropriate answer over here, the one that's in the correct format, it looks like that's going to be answer choice D. R cosine theta plus I sine theta. And then all I need to do is calculate R and theta. So the formula to calculate R is the square root of A squared plus B squared, which is going to be the square root of negative 3. Whoops, I put a parenthesis. Square root of negative 3 squared plus 8 squared. That's going to be 9 plus 64, which is going to be 73. And I don't think that's going to simplify anymore. If I want to, I can bring up the calculator and check that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check from the very beginning. Negative 3 squared. Remember that negative numbers have to go in parentheses on the calculator if you want the right answer. And there we get square root of 73 in simplest radical form. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in over here. Square root of 73. Now I need theta. And the formula for theta is the inverse tangent of B over A. Which is going to be the inverse tangent of 8 over negative 3, and that's not going to reduce any farther, so I'm going to grab my handy dandy calculator and do the inverse tangent of uh, 8 over negative 3. Oh, one thing to point out, if you want to put that negative in front of the fraction or on the 8, that would be okay. 
Some calculators don't like having the negative symbol in the denominator, I know. So the negative can be moved to the top or out front as long as you only put one negative sign. Now, remember it said the angle measure needed to be rounded to three decimal places if needed, and this is that case. So our theta rounded to three decimal places is going to be negative 1.212. That is radians. And I know that because I'm in radian mode on my calculator. The problem is that that angle, not only is it not from 0 to 2 pi, that angle is not even correct. And let me explain why. In the previous video and in uh, past videos where I converted polar to rectangular and rectangular to polar, not dealing with complex numbers, I said if x is negative, you have to add 180 to theta. And so here, when you're dealing with complex numbers going from rectangular to polar, that same thing applies, except this time it's if a is negative, you have to add 180 to theta. So this is going to require that I add pi, because pi is equivalent to 180 degrees, but we're working in radians, okay? And that's going to give me the correct angle. So let's, with this on the screen, let's just add pi, and again round that to three decimal places. 1.92, that's going to be three zero rounded. 1.9295 would round that to a 30 rounded. And then I'm going to prove that that was necessary, okay? Remember that when we plotted this point, it was in quadrant two. And so if you think about negative 1.21, that would actually be uh, going clockwise into quadrant four. So we had to add 180 to theta to bring it around from quadrant four into quadrant two where it was supposed to be. And now all we need to do is input that answer and see if I lied to you. 1.930 rounded. All right, fingers crossed. Man, awesome. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.